five to ten minutes, and then I'll get hunting down. Congratulations, Doge. Thank you much. Talk about, uh, you know, you were here last year. You think that experience, you know, helped you out and was, was helpful in, in this? Um, we talked about it all week about we've been here before, and it was about finishing what we started. And what I noticed is it started last at the regionals. We looked a lot calmer when we were playing because we'd been there before. It was our first time there at that as well. Mm -hmm. And then even today when we came down, just watching the bus ride down knew how much different it was than last year, how they look a lot calmer than they have in the past. And then on the court, we talked a lot about just be yourselves and everything's going to be fine. And they did. They were themselves today. You could tell that they were relaxed. Um, they were giving, you know, talking to each other the way they do any other game that we've had this year. Corey, you've been a pretty prolific scorer in your day today. Leading scorer, uh, 25 points, 9 of 9 from the free throw line. Just talking about how your offense kind of helped propel you guys to victory. Uh, you know, my teammates were able to give me the ball in scoring position, so I got to give all the credit to them. And, you know, at this stage of the game, you know, every team is good, so you got to do the little things well. So you, get, you, you really got to make foul shots, and I was able to hit on mine to help our team. Yeah, kind of follow up on just having that experience. Like last year, you guys came down, first time down, everything was new, and it kind of, you know, translated on the court. You guys suddenly didn't have that kind of, hey, this is our first time. Oh my God, here we are. And Xfinity Center today it seemed like you guys just another game. Yeah, you know, uh, last year we were just happy to be here. I thought, you know, we got a little careless. Uh, guys you know, didn't get didn't get the job done. I thought this year we all talked about how we, we wanted this game. But this was just a game, this is the semifinal game. We really want Saturday's game. That's the main goal of coming here. We want Saturday. Coach, talk about in the first half, it seemed it was a back and forth affair. There were nine lead changes. What was the message to your guys at the half to kind of settle things down and kind of take the momentum? Um, I guess when we first got in, we talked about three. Uh, the game pretty much was three points one way or the other the whole first half. And I think we had a five point lead at halftime. And we talked about three. We're up five. It's a two-possession thing. Let's not let's not give away two possessions early. Let's keep that in mind. And they didn't. They they kept the ball pretty tight. We only had nine turnovers according to this little thing. So we did a nice job with, with holding the ball, protecting the ball, and we did get good shots in the second half. Uh, they, we were open shots, open looks. We may not have knocked them all down, but we did knock down some big ones when we needed it. Yeah. Overall, I think it seemed like you struggled a bit from what we call the real outside. You countered that with yes. free throws, and you made a lot of you, a lot of second and third efforts on your end, and you were limiting, limiting them to one effort on the other end. It seemed like. Well, we you know watching the film of Huntington, we knew they were a good team that they could you know rebound pretty well, but we also realized that there were some gaps that we could take advantage of with second chance points and our shot on the outside. You're right, it didn't fall down tonight. Um, maybe we shot really a little too well Friday night last week, um, but. That being said, you know, when you got Will Bailey going in there grabbing 10 rebounds and getting us quite a few extra points, you had, I think Dante might have had eight. Um, Kyle, heck, he was in there yelling at me that I only, he only had five. I know I had six. But, you know, the focus was really about can we get the second shots and then finish plays on defense. Um, we've had a hard time this year finishing plays on defense. Uh, we do a great job forcing a tough shot, getting a hand in their face. But then we kind of give up and don't box out the way we should have. And once again, tonight, it's three games in a row. We've finished the play. We've started to box out better at the defensive end. Speaking of finishing plays, Kyle and Dante, just talk about that dunk. Because I know Dante, he was trying to get a dunk most of the game. <laughs> 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 he finally got that yeah. dunk to get you guys up by seven. It seemed like that kind of got the momentum going. Just talk about that play. I just drove. I looked off the center, tried to, you know, move him over a little bit. Then I pitched it to him. And then I put my body right in front of the center so he had the open lane so he could finish it. And it's just, the whole entire game, I was just trying to go up strong, try and, try and get physical, try and create contact so I can at least get to the line and get some type of points. And the whole entire time, I was just saying, play physical, go up strong, and it's going to fall. And Kyle put me in a great situation where I was able to go up and just finish the play. Yeah, just talk about the you guys rebound. I thought you guys did a great job. Really one, one shot. Yeah, we uh, focused extremely hard these past couple weeks on the boxing out and finishing the play, especially on defense, limiting them to one chance, one chance uh, possessions, and just trying to make sure that we finish off everything so that we get more possessions for ourselves and just being able to finish it off. Coach, was there a moment where, as the lead began to expand in the set in the second half, where you felt like your team kind of took control of the game? Um, I think at one point, I think it was, I think it was a seven-point game, and 
we were trying to run a certain set. We couldn't quite run it because of their traps that they were running, but they were leaving our better foul shooters wide open and we were getting the ball to them and then they were fouling those people. Once that started happening, I knew we'd be okay and I knew it was in our favor. I think the kids did too because we all talked about running what we call hurricanes, um, just spread it out. And we never even had to spread it out because they were fouling us a little too quick for us to spread it out on them. There was one point, Coach, you guys did have a uh, pretty substantial lead. You got down to four at uh, 43 to 39, and uh, you guys came back down. And I, I think, Corey, you missed the shot, or somebody missed the shot, and you got a hand on it and got it oh, Chris with that, that big three-pointer. Talk good. about that series, and Chris, talk about just hitting that shot. Um, came down in possession. Corey thought had a great shot, didn't fall. He got his rebound and found the open man, so could have done it without him. Just talk about just the chemistry of this team. You know? <laughs> right. um, the chemistry, I think, is great, to be honest with you. Um, we have a solid five that I think we play well together with. And that five's on the floor, and I think we win the game most of the time. Well, first time to the state finals, coach. Um, last year was a just a new experience. So I guess, like you said, just glad to be here. Now you guys are down in one game, and I think a lot of you guys, as you guys walked off the court, they had a look on their face like, you know, we're here to, to finish the job. Just talk about the opportunity to play for a, a title on Saturday. Um, but C. Mill Wright's never played for a title before. Um, so again, it's a first. These guys just set their school record for wins in a year. Um, beat last year's record. We had 22, now we have 23. They got a lot of things that they set in their mind at the beginning of the year, um, goals, and every goal that they've set, they've accomplished. And we focused, you know, I know we have goals, we call them destinations. And with the destinations that we've tried to accomplish, we look at what we're doing every day to, to get to your destination. And it's a credit to all of them. It's even a credit to the JV kids that we kind of pull up just to practice with us and stuff, of how hard they work and push each other in practice. Because what it comes down to is we want the practices to be the harder than the games. And if practices are harder than games, when games come out, it's, it, you can loosen up a little bit. And you go, wow, he's not playing as tight as I, I see normally. And it kind of helps him a lot there. We're going into it. We talked about not celebrating today because today's not about a celebration. You only celebrate championships. I said, we got to celebrate the Outback Championship. We got to celebrate the sectional championship. We got to celebrate the regional. This is just a game. I said, Saturday's a championship. We can celebrate Saturday. And that'll be our focus over the next 48 hours. Yeah, the best quarter is all about the for a championship on Saturday. Oh, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely exciting for us all because I know I, I, I can speak for myself, and I think these guys too. That in my senior year, I, I want my last game to be played in state championship, and uh, you know, this is this awesome opportunity for, for the team and, and the school and the community. You know, it's not every day Steve and right or Hoff County team gets played for a state championship. So this is gonna be a great experience for us. But we, we want this championship real bad. So I think you're gonna see a, a lot of intensity, and I think you're gonna see a great game on Saturday. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Hey, thank you. Thanks.